street switch photography. Good morning YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and X thought I'd come out for a quiet walk today with the new camera it's a beautiful morning and I thought we'd have a uh, bit of a chat about some of the comments I received on my last video and a little bit of local journalism as well and obviously my new camera that I'm going to be using today that my wife bought me whilst we were in um, Loughborough the Nikon D70 uh, I'll come back to you as soon as we get to a place that I want to talk about see you in a minute so here we are people we're on Asfordby Hill this is the Stooped recently shut down with over £90,000 worth of debt um, a massive gas and electric bill the story goes that basically the electric got turned off on the Tuesday or was it the Monday the Monday or Tuesday after the bingo that goes on here it's been here a good fair few years it's a very tired old looking building <clears throat> excuse me I've got a bit of a groggy chest this morning but yeah, it's a, such a shame that it's uh, shut down because basically it was used for uh, darts and pool and all that sort of stuff and local events. But now it's shut down. It's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do with the place. Let me just zoom out. So as you can see, yeah, it's just such a shame it's shut down. So I thought I'd come and do a quick video on it before I go on my walk and take a few photos of the place because you don't know if they're going to knock it down you don't know what they're going to do with it there's no telling it wouldn't surprise me if they knocked it down and um, stuck houses here so yeah there's the stoop as you can see it was apparently lottery funded is that lottery funded? I'm going to admit today guys, this isn't going to be the most exciting video, but I will be talking some politics as well whilst doing my photography. Yeah, this was lottery funded, but this is the whole sports club bit, I think. But yeah, it's a very rundown building, as you can see. Now, I've heard a few rumours, which I'm not going to basically say anything about because I don't want to uh, cause any problems. Morning, don't, don't worry, I haven't got you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just such a shame because it was used, like I say, for local events, bingo and everything else. And yeah, are you alright? Yeah, I'm just, I'm a YouTuber. And I live right, I live just down there on the corner. I won't get you on camera, don't worry. Um, and basically I'm just doing a quick vlog on why this is shut down and everything else because it's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame for it all, guys. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm just wondering what they're actually going to do with it. It's, so uh, it's in the hand of the uh, insolvency company. Right, okay. We'd love it to be reopened again. It would because, like I say, I bring my daughter up here for Halloween parties yeah. and my wife comes up here and plays bingo and, you know... There was talk whether they'd do it like a community thing. It'd be a good thing I'd put, put into it if they was asking for donations and stuff. Uh, uh, it's not sure what's happening with the Wellington football because the stew tones that way. That over there as well? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I thought that that was a separate business. It's all right, I've got it facing over there. Um, I thought that was a separate business, and I was hoping they might buy it and then do something with it, but then, you know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, yeah, the ground, that and that, tennis court, so, so, guys, I've just learned something, that the football ground over there also belongs to the Stoot, so it looks like... Um, yeah, that's that might be shut in as well. I, I usually do the photography for the football lads there and stuff. It, it's not sure yet, so it's, it's up to the company. Maybe yeah. A local shop wouldn't go amiss, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Save me walking all the way to town for a pint of bloody milk. <laughs> yeah, I live on here, so 
it all, it all depends. Football ground and bowls club, there's no decision on them at the moment. Right, okay. Well, all I'm going to be doing is I'm literally going to take a couple of photos of the building because you don't know whether it's going to be here next year, do you? So it's for historical purposes as well and all that lot. And then I'm going to go and take a walk around there and do some more photography. I'll turn the camera around so I don't get you on camera. Thank you, love. So there, we've just learned something, guys, that the uh, football ground's owned by them as well. And that seems to have... Um, I don't know whether that's actually... Well, yeah, it will be, won't it? It'll all be shut down. Oh, dear. Uh... And as you can see, it is quite a large building. <clears throat> we'll take a quick walk around the back. Nice lady. Didn't want to be on camera, so I respected her, um, her wishes, but she did talk to me, which is good. So if you look around here, this is the uh, parking access they have at the back. And I don't know how old the actual building is, but... It's, uh, yeah, just a shame. Another thing gone. I mean, the, the building itself has seen better days. But anyway, we'll crack on. And we'll, uh, let's go and do my walk and take a few photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few photos of this place. And then I'm going to, excuse my thumb in the way there. I'm going to uh, go for my walk and we'll have a chat about something else. So guys, yeah, this is the stoop. Shall we take a walk? Actually, thinking about it, we'll take a walk to the football bit as well. I didn't think of doing that. We'll take a walk up to the football part and uh, see if there's anybody there that wants to have a chat as well. I'm gonna pause it. So I've got some pictures of that, guys. Got some pictures of the stoop. You never know whether it's gonna be uh, knocked down or not. I didn't actually realise that this football club here at the back was um, was part of it. There's actually two football fields around here. One just down the road here, if you can see down there, turn right, there's a football place there and it's also a school car park. And then there's um, this one here, which I find to be, um, well, it's just sad, isn't it? So we'll take a walk in. And we'll go and ask some questions. I'm going to pause the video because somebody might not want to be on video. Obviously, they're on private property as well, so. So, we're back here at the uh, Bowls Club on Asfordby Hill. It's right next door to the football club and the Stoot. I've already said the Stoot's shutting down and I didn't realise the football club was actually part of it. And it turns out the Bowls Club is part of it as well. These two gentlemen have basically just told me a few things about the place. Um, he said, "Was it you? Can you tell me when? When was it actually? How long has it been here?" If you don't mind. 1917. Wow, that's that's unbelievable. I didn't realise that. Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh because I'm a crap actor. Um, yeah, with the local place shutting down and everything, and I can see you still doing the lawns and everything. How often does it actually open, and how many people from the local community use it? Well, uh, we've got about 65 members. Yeah. And uh, it's used quite regularly, I wouldn't say every day, but almost daily. Right, so a lot of people rely on this place to get out of the house and stuff as well, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of the, of the older generation around this area as well. Um, obviously, I think it was Joan who was telling me that she used to come up here and use this place quite a lot, but she moved back into town. And she was talking about it the other day, actually. I'm just, it's going to be a really sad thing if it shuts down. And I just want to try and raise some awareness and see if there's anything anybody can do. Yeah. You know, I noticed it was National Lottery funded, the other building. Yeah. So why couldn't this get something like that? Or something along those lines, a grant, anything like that to help. And I'll be mentioning this place on there. Thank you, you two. And what's your name, sorry? My name's Peter Farrow. Nice to meet you, Peter. And... Bob Lemon. Nice to meet you, Bob. Um, thank you for the conversation we've just had. I'm going to just take a quick walk round, take a couple of photos, and that'll be me done. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. So yeah, there you go, guys. I'll go and take some pictures. I'll include them in this. Aware of this with regard to me, though. Sorry. Um, this this place. Yeah. Land, right. Was leased. Was on lease. Right. Okay. From we think British Steel something to do with the works down there. Yeah, well, no, nothing to do with it. Oh, oh no, no, did they? No, no. But it was originally, yes, yeah, something to do. Right, okay. And then when they finished, the stoop took over all of it. Okay. And there's a land there, there's the old tennis club there, but that's no longer in existence. Right. Over there. Okay. 
Right, I'll have a look down there in a moment. Yeah. Okay. I know one thing that might not be able to happen is, and I don't know whether it'll affect this or not, down the bottom there, a few years back, they were going to be building houses. It's contaminated land. Good old bit of kit, that is. Can I borrow that from a garden? <laughs> <laughs> It'll only take two seconds, one sweep, and the garden would be done. Is it a hater or something? Oh no, it's a yeah, robin. It's, um, uh, robin, robin engine. I don't know all the makes, I'm into motorbikes myself. It's one of the Saxon. A Saxon. Saxon uh, so it's definitely English. <laughs> Saxon, um, I used to work for the local Milton Borough Council doing the grounds maintenance and stuff and we were always using things like this. It's self-propelled, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A beautiful bit of kit. Of it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look how you keep the lawn though. I couldn't do that. <laughs> like my head, really short. With a little bit of fuzz on top. Now I'm just doing a local piece on the, I've on the actual bowls club and with the uh, stoot shutting down and stuff oh, okay. see if we can get something happening some funding or something Absolutely. so Lovely. I'm just going to go and take a quick look around take some photos yeah. make make everybody aware of it if you want to see it later it'll be on youtube yeah. it's called street switch photography street switch yeah and also it'll be on facebook photography it's all about the edit okay so is that, is that you yeah that's me yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm the one usually getting into trouble yeah, yeah. but <laughs> we're on Facebook as well. Right, I'll, I'll actually, I'll share your page then on my page because I've got over, well, 1,300 followers, yeah, 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 yeah. so get some awareness out there, guys, all right. No, absolutely. I don't think it can do any harm, will it? <laughs> <laughs> when it was on about those houses, it was on about contamination. Yeah. But they couldn't sort it. Right, okay. They couldn't sort the legal bits out about what they could do here because they can't find anybody. I mean... They've literally shut down the whole area because obviously uh, St. Gobain's going, isn't it? That's yeah, shut yeah. down. I did an audit on that place a few months back and the, uh, the, the the boss came out to me and was telling me, yeah, we're closing and everything else. He's a really nice guy. And, uh, you know, everybody's going to be losing their jobs, obviously. Well, you've got Tuxford and Tebbits that shut down recently as well. Yeah. So how are people going to find jobs? We're building all these houses. All these houses, where are they going to find jobs? You know, I even did the election thing down t downtown with the reform tent, the Labour tent and all the rest of it. And they gave me a load of jib. The Labour tent did, reform didn't, but the Labour tent gave me no end of jib <laughs> for taking photos in public. I'm like, you're in public, mate. You're on public display. What's your problem? But anyway, yeah. I came up and voted. 68 was used for the vote as well, weren't it? And now we found out that Edward Arger, our local constituent, is no longer our local constituent. <laughs> found that out yesterday. There's yeah. some information for you. It was on the BBC. Uh, they uh, didn't use my footage, though, because of what I had to say. <laughs> so who is then? <laughs> um, they're going to be... Basically, Edward Arger is going to be staying in Syston, but they try, in, sometime in this summer they're going to be doing another vote or something. That's what I've heard. I was a lady on the television. Yes, it is. That's it. That's the, I can't remember her name, though. I can't. Um, I'll she's Google it. Well. I'll include this in the video, guys. The name of the lady, yeah. And I think she's um, she's more right than she is left, isn't she? As yeah. well, she's not far right, like everybody accuses people yeah, of being. But yeah. so fingers crossed. I mean, the guy didn't even turn up at the bloody tent. Edward Arger wasn't even there. I was down there every day for them for the you tents. You know, he was the only one that I saw coming round the houses. Was he? He was. I seen what's Where his I name, live. the guy for reform, and what's his uh, Zafran Khan. I said I didn't see him going round any houses or anything. Never saw anybody else. No. Well, no. Not the girl round. It just seems like yeah. today everybody doesn't seem to be able to have a decent debate without an argument. <laughs> right. Don't matter what you vote. We're all, everybody's situation is going to be different. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Conservative might suit your situation. Labour might suit my situation. You can't argue who you're going to vote. No. You know, <laughs> you've got to do what you think's best, haven't Absolutely. you? Right, so I'm going to take a walk around, guys, for the third okay. time. <laughs> and I'm going to go and take some pictures. Thank you, everybody. Okay. And, uh, yeah, if this place shuts down, there's a lot of people come here and play bowls, especially the older, older generation. Maybe the younger generation should get into doing it as well. Um, so we'll take some photos, and I'll come back to you in a minute when we go back onto the tennis courts.
So there you go, that's the tennis courts. We'll take a walk around the whole perimeter and then we'll uh, mosey on somewhere else. We just turn the camera back around so you can see what's going on. So yeah, with this being the local football club and everything, um, and obviously the tennis courts and everything else, it's just another thing that's shutting down uh, in Melton. We've had loads of shops shut, we've had loads of factories shut, and it's just such a shame. So I'm going to come down and document it, and uh, basically say what needs to be said. I don't know what this bit is here. Oh, it's a bus stop. Oh, you can get in round the back there. Yeah. Keep clear. Okay. So, yeah, there you go, guys. This has been the report on the Stoot, the local football club, the local bowls club, and the old rundown tennis courts. I'm going to be taking a walk round this place and taking a couple more photos of the field and everything else on my um, old new camera which is obviously the, uh, the Nikon D70 the reason I use that is because it's got a CCD sensor it's only 6 megapixels but I'll tell you what the results are exactly what I'm after just have a quick scan round look there you go guys anyway if you like this video please like and subscribe if there's anything that you think that can be done to help this place, please leave a comment in the comment section, because that will really help. Um, like I said, like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now. Street switch photography.